In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to separate text from inside cells and put them in uh, cells anywhere else on your spreadsheet. Uh, to give a practical example of it, we have a personnel database right here. It has all of our names on the left-hand side with their address, city, state, etc. And we have their full name here. However, we, if you want to actually separate that out and get one column for their first name, one column for their last name, then there's an automated task for doing that. You don't have to go in and create new cells and type them all in manually or try copying and pasting uh, each name. Uh, Excel has a way of separating those out and doing it in a very efficient manner. Uh, the first thing we have to do is create a new column where we're wanting the text to go or the new text to go go in hit insert it automatically already has our formatting here so that's good and then we go and select all of the text that we want to separate so we have all of these names right here and simply go up into the data ribbon and there's a function here called text to columns so we're going to click on that and that gives a few options. We are going to go with the delimited. If you go with fixed width, then uh, that really only works if you know the exact number of characters in each cell. And we don't. And Well, we do, but they're all different. So that wouldn't work. So go with delimited. Hit next. And delimiters, all a delimiter is a way that Excel is going to know how to separate the words and so you could have a delimiter as a tab, a semicolon, a comma, a space, or even something else. So uh, it's really up to whatever is currently in the file or in those cells. Uh, us personally, we have a space because you see Jimmy space Buffett, George space Bush, all the way down the line. A space is what separates it. So we're going to keep that selected, hit next, the column data format is going to be general and the destination it already has picked out starting in uh, A2 but then it's going because it's separating them it's going to also put the other data or the new column right next to it. That's the reason why you need to always make sure however many times you're separating this that you put in those columns right there. So click finish and as you can see it automatically has separated those. You have Jimmy Buffett, George Bush, all the way down the line. It's separated that way. And now we can come in here and go first name and last name. Now, when you do something like that for a personnel database, it makes it a lot easier to sort it. Uh, this was a very easy one because we only had a first and a last name. Uh, there are times where you might have a middle name. So we're going to undo it all the way back and say Jimmy Buffett is actually named Jimmy Wayne Buffett and so what we're gonna have to do is add another column here because as you see as you'll see here in a second Excel is simply gonna recognize those spaces and it's gonna create a new column every time it sees a space and it's gonna put that in there so as we come back highlight our text again We'll go text to columns, delimited, space, hit finish. And as you can see, it moves all of these over. And there are ways to organize it so that uh, the last name goes uh, afterwards. And um, But this is simply a nice, easy way of automatically converting multiple names or integers or anything like that and separating it out so that it can be organized more efficiently in the database.